Okay, so what's, what's, what's the name of your next project? Uh, right now it's Septillion, but I gotta goddamn make sure that I'm gonna go with it. Cause it's like, like, I fuck with a fan for it, but like the label push, like they like, it's kind of a hard name, but I'm like, fuck it, you feel me? Yeah. So right now it's Septillion, you know, like Reptillion, yeah. but Septillion. Okay, okay, okay. And you said it's gonna come out whenever it's ready, whenever the right whenever time. Whenever the gang, get, whenever the op is seen, they yeah. shooting it, shooting the album out, goddamn. That's right, that's right. And right now, man, you got Glock 19 tearing up, you know, the internet right now, man. What's yeah. going on with that? Shit, Glock 19, that was one of them songs, like, I done figured out, like, the cadence of, like, the me that's festival music. So yeah. it's, like, performance. Like, I really, not knowing I'm performing, it's going to go crazy, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. So it was, like, with Glock 19, just simple. I did a song, Sell Me, because I know the one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Glock 19. Pull up with a bean, you feel me? Like, yeah. it's, it's just catchy, niggas gonna, they gonna go with it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Them the easiest songs to me. But to me, yeah. like, if, if it be crazy, I probably got a lot of songs that probably could have went, been went up and put me all the way up there. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, I don't be fucking, to me, all my songs are just songs. I don't, I can't really go through and pick them out myself no more. Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, so because it's like you know what I'm saying. I yeah. need I need other people to listen to them and tell me about them. Right. Okay. Because I be thinking the shit I think hard. They say wet, and the shit I think wet be a hit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Every time, bro. Yeah, really? like that. Torch was like this. I oh, hated torch. I like yeah. shit wet. You feel yeah. me? And they and love it. That's the one. They got me signed. You feel me? Well, that's dope, bro. That's dope. Yeah. Right you know what I'm saying? Um, you said tell me again, man. How, how did they sign you? How did they contact you? Shit, through email, goddamn, I thought it was fake when I seen this yeah. shit, for real, but goddamn, got calling, talking, and they flew me up out there. But I had to go get a pass for my PO to go up there, because I was goddamn going through my little legal shit, and that was really influenced me to sign that shit even more, too, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, everybody go down the road, shit was looking ugly. I was Beast my this shit, that shit had, it felt like I was waiting on my death date. Like, yeah. when a guy felt like I was going to my own funeral. Yeah. Like, that shit was sad as fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm sad as hell with my girl. I'm playing prison songs, all that type of shit. I'm, in my head, I'm gone, you feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. it's over, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but they kind of saved the day for it. Which is dope, man. It was like it in the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And how was it when you got up there, bro? Shit, just a cool shit, like, I can compare it to, like, a college visit, for real. You pull up, take you out to eat, all that type. Take you out to eat, take you to rap, see what you on, then you go play music and shit. But they really ain't even, they ain't offering me right there and there, because I was beating, because another label tried to do some swindle shit on the side, and had talked to me out there, but I'm like, y'all gonna have to fly me back out here, but I still pushed up over there and talked to them, but... They were so ready, they gave me the contract right there. Yeah. So I'm already knowing this, so I'm like, I'm not even standing there, because I'm like, they doing that, the folks that flew me out, they finna be turned. Yeah. I played my shit, they got up, they like, shit, we'll see you a couple days then. I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't on probation, so I'm yeah. like, nigga, ain't no call me. Nigga, I gotta plan this shit. I ain't this shit to prove that type shit. So I'm really yeah. feeling sad as fuck on the plan, yeah. but, but a couple days ago, but, and I got this deal already. The other people yeah. I done gave me the deal, what is what they gonna you feel me? Yeah. So I got so I'm like, damn, I'm finna have a sign with these folks. Yeah. But it ain't go like that. A couple days later get a get a phone call from New York, Kevin Lyles on the phone, and then I could play the whole, oh they gave me this, so I want this game. So he was like, I'm gonna show you how much money I got. I'm gonna give you that plus thirty more. So I'm like, yeah. bet and I want to sign with them anyway, like before I even heard any numbers yeah. or anything, I'm like, I'm signing three hundred, you feel me? Yeah. It was just what I wanted to do. It was totally. And you know, most artists, man, when they when they do their homework on a label or got their idol or somebody signed to a label, usually you want to you want to be with the label that you mm -hmm. that your heart telling you to be with. Yeah. Somebody else could be offering you more. Yeah. Like, nah, this is where my heart is at. So it was like they offered the most, and I want to go to the end of them way. Yeah. So it wasn't even no no yeah. thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin Lyles, like, Kevin Lyles put a bag out. Yeah, Kevin Lyles said, I'm going to show you what, what I, how much yeah. that's worth to me. No, that's what he said. I'm going to show you how much $30,000 worth to me. Yeah. I'm going to give you this more. You feel me? Damn, bro. Like, real shit. Fuck with him for that, for like. Oh, yeah.